What are you making today, Miss Martha? Well, I'm cooking Mexican. Uh, I'm going to be making chicken with green chili and cheese and enchiladas. Now, I'm probably going to, you know, just because my last name is Ramirez, I don't speak Spanish. I wish I did. Studied French, and that was way back in high school and college, so don't ask me to uh, speak that either. But uh, it's going to taste good. I might say it wrong, so don't dislike me just because I say it wrong. I'm cooking with love. My family loves what I cook. And I hope that you'll try to make it along with me after watching the video and uh, going and buying the items in the description. And maybe one day you'll cook it too. Uh, so we're going to be making chicken and green chili, cheese, enchiladas. So I'm going to have to rinse my chicken and get that on the boil first thing. But we'll, I'll finish going through the rest of the, the items we're going to be cooking. I'm also going to make uh, uh, take my seasoned beef. I'm going to have to make up my, my seasoning, my taco seasoning dry to go into the meat. And we're going to brown the meat. Now I'm gonna have to sneak me a little bit out the brown meat because my, you know, I got four little chihuahuas. I don't wanna put my seasoning in it until I've pulled me out a couple of tablespoons that I can set aside for them to have for a treat later. Then I'll add my seasoning to the meat. Some of the seasoning, the dry seasoning that I'm also making will go into the wet sauce that I will make that will go on top of the burritos and the uh, quesaritos. But so I'm gonna be making with the, with the seasoned beef, we will make, I've got refried beans to make back here, but we will make bean and seasoned beef burritos cheese. We'll also be making cheese and ground beef quesadillas, if I'm saying it right. That's the flat ones that you're going to slice like a pizza. And then we'll be making uh, ground beef, seasoned beef, and cheese quesaritos. Those are the ones that are wrapped up like a burrito. I don't really know the difference between a quesarito and a burrito. I just know they're different when I make them for my son is what goes in them. He likes the sour cream in it when he's making the, when we're, when he's eating the uh, quesaritos. When I'm, oh, when I'm cooking the, the food right here, the thing about Mexican food is you get all your little stuff ready, all your little items ready, and it's almost like a, a like a salad bar The vegetarians eat at because you have like a little taco bar. You set all your little items out and the person comes in and mixes them up and makes them up the way they want it, roll it up. You need to put it in the microwave, heat it back up, or for some of these, I have a little skillet over there I could go and flip pancakes on. Once we've made them all up, we put it back over on the skillet to crust the outside of the uh, tortilla a little bit. So, first thing I've got to do is uh, rinse and get my chicken on to boil, and then we'll come back and we'll go through the items. Uh, step two, which is to make the dry seasoning, and then step three will be to uh, put the meat on to brown, and step four will be to make the salsa verde sauce and to make the uh, burrito, the red, the red sauce for that. So um, that's what the videos are all about: is how a real mommy navigates her kitchen and tries not to step on four chihuahuas in the process. So uh, hang in there, go get a cup of coffee. I'm gonna get the chicken on the boil, and we'll come back at rock and rolling on our Mexican meal. Da 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 Okay, my ground beef, ground beef is in the skillet, but I haven't turned that on yet. My chicken has uh, been rinsed, covered with water in the pot, and that's over there on high boiling, so that could be cooking. Now I'm going to drain off the beans, and I want to save what I drain off of them. I'll set those aside. Drain the beans. This is going to be my wet sauce that's going to go on the outside of the uh, burritos. Drain off the chilies. Wash, wash my hands and we'll pick back up. Okay, we're going to add one can of tomato paste, one large can of tomato paste. Except for dry seasoning. Tahin. One teaspoon. Cumin. One half teaspoon. Chili powder. One half teaspoon. Cayenne pepper, 
one half teaspoon. That's more like three quarters. <laughs> now, I have a Mexican Fiesta blend. The only thing different between this and what I'm putting in there, this has some cilantro and it also has some oregano and has some tomato powder. And instead of trying to, you know, buy all those things separately or grind all those things up, it's just easier to add one tablespoon, what's the difference? One tablespoon of this into my dry. Okay, there we go. Mix that all together. Get the lumps out. Onion powder. One half tablespoon. Garlic powder. Uh, oh, it's a new one. I know I had some open under there. One tablespoon. One half tablespoon black pepper. One quarter tablespoon salt, just a little bit. Got all that meat in there. Okay. That's a little dry. Give me a minute to get these out of the way because I don't want to knock anything off. I've got four little chihuahuas under my feet. I'll be right back. Hold on. If I did my math right, adding up all my, I should have about five tablespoons of my dry here. So what we're going to do is first off, I've got to set aside one tablespoon because I'm, you know, I'm cooking my chicken with no seasoning on it. So that's going to go on the chicken after when it's cooked. I'm going to sneak me a little bit, set aside as a blunt bag for my chihuahuas. No salt, no seasoning on that, and they can have that as a treat later when it's cool. All right, so I'll put one tablespoon aside to go on the chicken. I'm going to put three tablespoons, one, two, three, in here, which is going to be the burrito sauce, which is going to go on the outside of the burritos when I, if I'm going to bake those in the oven. And that leaves me about two tablespoons going to go into the hamburger. Well, once again, I'm going to brown that in a few minutes, no seasoning on it, little bit out for the chihuahua and then I'll add my seasoning to that. So I'm going to go ahead and set the seasoning over there next to the meat and two little small bowls to save some meat back. I'll be right back. Got my little flow going better here. Let's add the rest that's going to go because this has got to go on the stove and cook for a little bit. It's just like making barbecue sauce. I'm making, you know, taco sauce now. I've got a regular white vinegar. I'm going to need four tablespoons. One. Two, three, four tablespoons of the vinegar. Lime juice, one tablespoon. Take the lime. Daddy's home. I'm, I'm cooking, honey. Let me go greet my husband. Okay, we put the vinegar, we put the lime. I've got Frank's hot sauce, one tablespoon, and I've got the taco sauce itself, one, two, three tablespoons. I'll go put this over the stove and let it simmer. Okay, I move right along, just put everything's moved to the stovetop at this time. Now this will, this will stay over here because this is for assembly purposes, your wraps. The cheese, the cheese sauce, the sour cream, and a little bit of the salsa. It's going to go inside as well as either the beans and the meat or whichever we're making here. Sometimes some of them will be without meat, some of them will be with meat. Over here, same thing. This is just for the wrapping purposes. We've got the chilies, we've got the salsa verde, and the cheese. And that, we're going to put them in a casserole. We're going to bake those a little bit of the enchilada. So the last thing to move over to the stove are the beans. Then we'll meet you over there. We'll start browning the meat. When that's brown, we'll take that out the pan and we'll use the same pan to uh, refry the beans in. Okay, I've turned the chicken down to simmer because, well, it's almost at the point now that I'm going to take that and drain that. However, my little secret ingredient, anytime I cook with tomatoes, one little teaspoon of sugar back in my burrito red sauce. Okay, 
So my red sauce is back there simmering. Let's cut the meat on. No seasoning in it right now. We're just gonna brown off the meat. We'll go ahead and tuck, cut off the chicken. I'm gonna take some of the chicken out, save that aside in a little bowl over here for the chihuahuas. I'm gonna take some of the meat out once that's cooked, save some over here without any seasoning on it for the chihuahuas. When that's cool, I'll put it in Ziploc bags and I'll go to the refrigerator and they'll have a treat one day when I wanna make them do some trick training. Then we'll move, move, move around, we'll be seasoning the beef, but you don't have to sit here and watch me brown, brown the meat. We'll save some time on the video. Okay, still brown the meat, but in the meantime, I drained the chicken and I, the broth that I drained off of the chicken, I added into my burrito sauce back there to back and thin that down a little bit. I saved me out some of the cooked chicken for my chihuahua, because they're my baby. And I've got my spice that I'll put in the chicken in a minute. As soon as I finish browning off this meat here. Back up to you, it's flattering a little bit. It'll pop on you. you Got to make sure you get all the pink out. I think that's why. Let's see. Ako Tag El Bay gives everybody the squirt phase. <laughs> well, I don't even think this is real meat. That's why I prefer to cook my old Mexican food. Okay, we're going to drain this. Move the meat over to another container, take some out of the chihuahuas, and we'll go to cook our beans in this grease here. Okay, my beef pit has been drained. I have my set aside little portions for the chihuahuas, some chicken, some meat, no seasoning, no salt. I'll put them in the refrigerator for them later. Dump my beans in here with two tablespoons of the Mexican Fiesta seasoning secret ingredient of the Goya pork seasoning. That will go in there as well. Oops. Let me pause, clean that up for the chihuahua licks it up. Okay. I wasn't expecting that to come out like a clump like that. It must be an older, older package in the store. You know, it's hard to get good quality. Yeah, it's kind of clumpy, but still it's still in sedate. Yeah, I want to show you something. My son doesn't like big hunks of meat in it, so I'm going to have to blitz it in the Vitamix. And you're like, ah, oh, just tell me you like that anyway. Well, that's your parenting. You can do that for your children, own children, if you want to. But I'm going to treat my little baby special. You know why? I don't ever end up in a nursing home. I can guarantee it. My little boy loves me, and I feel like always watch out for me in my golden, olden years. So we'll blitz this a little bit, and we'll pick back up. Make sure the meat's not big hunks. Mama loves you, Robert Jr., if you're watching. Okie dokie. Give me a second to move back over. All right. We're going to add our dry season, taco season that we made ourselves, into our chicken. Get that coated. It's going to be a green chili. It's also like we're going to just a little bit of our red sauce in here to make the spice stick to the chicken, okay? See how pretty that looks? That's gonna go into our chicken, green chili, and cheese enchiladas with a salsa verde on it that we'll have to go bake in the oven for a little bit. Now we're gonna refry our beans here. We've got our pinto beans and our kidney beans. It's the uh, fat that was left from browning the meat in the bottom of the pan and three packets of the Goya ham seasoning, as well as some of the taco seasoning. 
So these are just gonna have to brown down and we're gonna mush them a little bit. So that's gonna take some time. So we'll pause and pick back up. But when we do pick back up, we're gonna be at the assembly stage. So woohoo, moving right along. Our last cooked ingredient before I can assemble are the refried beans here. I'm just mushing away. I don't have to smush them all all the way down because my husband likes a few of them left in there. He likes the texture. So to recap, we're going to be making chicken, green chili, and cheese enchiladas with a salsa verde and shredded cheese and they'll be baked in the oven. We're going to be taking bean and seasoned beef with cheese inside and my red uh, burrito sauce that I made here and a little bit of cheddar cheese on top of those also the burritos they'll be baked off in the oven my son likes quesadillas and quesaritos which I'll show you how he's going to assemble those but I'm not going to make those ahead of time because he's going to, want to make those fresh when he comes in from work same thing with this. I'm going to assemble these, but I'm not going to bake them off. I'm just going to get them ready, put them in the oven, but I'm not going to turn them on until 20 minutes before they come in the door because, you know, nobody wants cold Mexican food. You want it fresh. That's the whole point of making it yourself. So it's fresh. All right, these are good. I can turn that off and I'll meet you over at the counter. Okay, we're at the assembly stage here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you. My son's going to want to have a quesadilla which is, you want, it's, it's like this, and you're gonna cut, you know, three little triangles, that's the quesadilla, it's flat. He's also gonna want to have a quesarito, which is a mixture between a quesadilla and a burrito. Those are the two things that he likes when he goes to Taco Bell to order, and it's what we recreate, is what I make at home for him. I know he's gonna like those things. But I'm not going to actually assemble them right now, because he'll do that when he gets home, because he can put the amount of portions that he wants to have in it, because no matter what I do, He's always going to say, oh, I want more cheese, or I want more sour cream. This way, when he does it himself, he has no way to blame it himself, if it's not exactly the way he wants it. But what he will do for his quesadilla, which is the flat one, only, only working on one half of the circle here from the vertical line down, is he'll use, we've got three different kinds of cheeses, he'll use one of the liquid cheeses here. This one's new. I don't know if you've had this one yet, but this one's really good, but it's kind of spicy. It's the Dorito quesadilla. And we also have the con queso from Tostitos, and we have the Frito-Lay jalapeno. So one of the wet cheeses, he'll spread down here on the bottom half of it. Then he'll put a little bit of his seasoned beef in it, and then he'll put some of the shredded cheese on top of it. We'll fold it over. It will go on the little grill pan, and it'll be toasted on each side, okay? And then cut and triangle. That's that's going to be his, his quesadilla when he gets home. Also, he's going to want a quesadilla, which you'll start off with another one. You're going to work in the middle section here, okay? Not off the center, a little middle section here, because you're going to fold over, fold over, and up. You know, I'll show you in a minute. I always fold it wrong too, so this way he can fold it himself to have it done the way he wants to have it done. He's going to start off the same way. He's going to put some wet cheese down. He's going to put some of his seasoned beef down. He doesn't care for the beans. Then he's going to put some of the shredded cheese on it and some of the sour cream. Then you're going to fold the sides over like this. And then you're going to fold it in and roll it over. And he's going to put a little of the shredded cheese here to seal it at the end. And same thing, we'll go over and we will grill it a little bit on each side to warm it up and crisp it up for him. So. That's going to be, we've made, so, so far we've made a seasoned beef and cheddar jalapeno cheese quesadilla and a seasoned beef and cheese quesarito. Okay? Those two will be made. Now, I'm actually going to make these because these are going to go in the oven and going to be baked. I call them burritos even though, you know, the difference between a, a, a burrito and an enchilada is supposed to be an enchilada. It's supposed to have sauce on them. It's supposed to be spicy and baked in the oven. The burritos are supposed to be just a little handheld that you can eat like eating a hamburger type thing. However, I do like a sauce on my burrito, so we're going to have the burritos also with the red sauce on a little cheese and bake. So I'm going to, I'll, I'll roll one of the beef ones. I'll roll one of the uh, chicken ones for their pan. And then I'll pause the camera and I'll finish doing it off because I'm running long here. Oh, I'm almost 20 minutes into this video here. Oh, oh, oh. Let's start off with one of the beef ones here. I've got plenty of this. I've got two more jars over there, so I'll use this cheese. Put a little beef down the middle. I mean, 
We're going to start in the middle. We're going to put the cheese here. A bit of beef. Can you see? It? Yeah. A little bit of beans. I need another spoon. A little bit of the red sauce, not too much. And some of the cheese. If I could put sour cream in the ones that I bake because it, it does it doesn't doesn't do well with bake. So we're gonna fold in from the bottom and from this side, roll this up. Put a little more cheese on it. Fold it over. And that's going to go to the pan. And I'll do a I'll do a fish on my pan. So I'll put a little red sauce on top and some cheese. Now let's go do the chicken one. And the smaller, smaller tortilla. I'm going to put a little bit of the soaking up the cheese here. Scissors. I don't see my scissors. Okay. Little bit of cheese. A little bit of chicken. And she needs another spoon. The green chili, not too much. Don't forget my husband's heartburn. Okay. And a little bit of liquid cheese. You can do your own proportions. And we're gonna sit here, roll it in, roll it in, roll it in. Roll it in. And this is like a cannoli. I'm not trying to seal the ends on that one. And that will go into my other little tray here. Okay? So I'm going to roll more of the uh, bean and beef burritos and more of the chicken and chili enchiladas. And I'll pick back up with you. Okay? The beef, cheese, burritos are stuffed. The chicken, green chili, and cheese, enchiladas, a roll, stuffed. So we're just going to put a little of our, of our red sauce over the burritos, just a little bit. We're not going to smother it. Like that. And I'll just put this in a Tupperware. And this will save this back. It'll keep in the refrigerator for a couple weeks. Pour our enchilada sauce, our salsa verde. These I kind of won't smother. So we used all of that. Top with cheese. Top with cheese. Going to have to put about. Watch out, Tito. Don't just get one of your wild walk. Got to put a little water in the bottom of the burrito one so they can bake. Yeah, we go. That's it. These will go in the oven. They'll bake for at 375 for 30 minutes. Right before my husband gets home, so they'll be ready for dinner. When, when my boy gets in, when my son gets in, he'll sit here and he'll roll out the way he wants to fix his quesadillas and quesaritos. So, um, thanks for watching. I'll put all the recipes down in the description. I'll make the thumbnail be a, a finished product of the cooked items, but videos run on long enough at this point. I'm not going to pause it to wait for another hour or so. Let's see, it's only... So it's a little bit before three o'clock here, so they're not going to be home till after four. 
I might put the sour cream back in the refrigerator. I won't leave that sitting out there on the counter until my son gets home. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Hope you'll like and subscribe. I enjoy cooking with you. Yes, even though you might not be, you know, shredding the cheese along with me at this point in time, hopefully one day you'll cut it back on while you have gone and bought all the ingredients off of the uh, description and you're cooking it. You can watch back through and watch Miss Martha and you can pause along and cook with me because that's, that's my ultimate goal. I hope that you'll cook along with me. Enjoy. Wish I knew something Spanish, something funny in Spanish to say at the end. I don't know. Ay, Chihuahua? Is that Spanish?